It's time for a conversation with our friends from the United School District, our initial school year visit with United. And on the line with us this morning, Kirk Atwood, uh, Senior High Principal, Luke Kinja, who is the Elementary School Principal. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. It's good to have you both with us. Uh, We'll start with you, Kirk, and uh, find out what's going on at United. You've been in class for a couple of weeks now. And uh, obviously the first question everybody wants to know is, how's it going in the COVID era? Well, it's, it's a different kind of year, that's for sure. Um, you know, the, the general consensus seems to be here at United. Everybody is, is really pleasantly surprised with how well things have gone this year. You know, we didn't know quite what to expect coming into it. Um, our students have been fantastic as far as, you know, wearing their masks, staying distance from one another, doing what they need to do to stay safe. And, and we keep stressing to them, the more you do that, um, the, lo- the better off we're going to be as a district. And, and I think they get that. Our kids want to be here, and we want them here. So, um, you know, it's, it's actually going very well. Well, that's good to know. Very, very good to know. I don't know if it's a rough estimate or if you can be really precise about it. What's the percentage of students who are actually physically taking classes in the school? Um, it, it, it's about, we're at about 90% in-house, I think. Um, wow. You know, we weren't sure what those numbers were going to be, but like I said, our kids want to be here. I mean, we have a great community. Um, our school provides a great community for our students, and I think they see that, and their parents see that, and they want to be here. So, yeah, we're, we're really pleasantly surprised with the number that, that chose to come back. They've been in for a little bit of time now, so um, what seemed to be brand new and probably a little bit awkward at the beginning, probably they've settled into a routine. Would that be correct? Absolutely. Yeah, we came back on August 26th, so, so this, we've been here for a few weeks now. Um, and, and what you said is exactly right. It, it seemed weird at first, but, but what we're finding is, that, you know, it's, it's given us new opportunities, you know, and, and we, we can dwell on what's bad. You know, we have to wear masks and we have to stay distant and group works a little harder, but, but we've got new opportunities. I mean, we went one-to-one this year, so every student has a Chromebook. Um, we've got some new opportunities as far as different uh, websites and softwares that we're using. And so, you know, you've you got to take what we're given and make the best of it. And, and I think our staff has done a great job with that and given the kids new opportunities, new ways to learn. And um, I think they're responding really well to it. Now, you're dealing with students at, at the high school that have been in school for their entire academic career. So they're used to that learning environment. Luke Kinja with the elementary school uh, it's much more new to them, especially the youngest of your students. How has it gone for you? you know, and I, I just ha- would have to echo what Mr. Atwood was saying. You know, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, over the summertime, we had our Evergreen Boys and Girls program here, and um, the boys and girls did a great job wearing the mask. So for the opening of school, I really wasn't uh, too surprised how well our boys and girls did. They just constantly continued to impress us. Uh, social distancing, wearing the mask. I mean, they're all following uh, the rules and just doing a great job. One of the things about elementary students is some have been around others for a very, very, well, for most of their lives, and socially uh, they're used to it, and um, they, of course, will have their own way of approaching things when they get into a school setting. Some students are just tremendously shy because they don't have that sort of experience. They've never been around people. This is their first time. Uh, at United, uh, of course, as with every other school district, uh, in, in any year, whether it's this year or any other year, uh, that becomes a really big challenge to help those kids right from the very beginning of the school year, doesn't it? Oh, a- absolutely. Uh, and I would credit, you know, the elementary staff to just doing a tremendous job, you know, reaching out to the families prior to school even starting, uh, you know, at the open house, just reaching out to the families. Um, anything that the teachers could do above and beyond they've been able to do and again as Mr. Atwood said you know we just have a very supportive and generous community and uh, that's just made the opening of school year that much easier for all of us. Is technology as big an issue for the elementary school kids as it would be in the high school level? So uh, right now we have Chromebooks one to one the one to one initiative for grades three through six. Uh, We have additional Chromebooks ordered for our pre-K through second grade, Uh, but everyone across the nation right now is ordering Chromebooks, so those are kind of back-ordered right now. We're hoping to have those here within the next month. Uh, And we've got a variety of software packages that we're um, having the kids access. Uh, We're really involved with Google Classroom right now, Uh, and it's amazing what the, the boys and girls are able to do 
uh, even down to kindergarten and first grade level mm -hmm. on a computer compared to when I was in school back in the 70s and 80s. Um, you know, back then you were dealing with uh, the piece, the Macintosh. Uh, it's just vastly different from what the kids are exposed and doing right now. Yeah. We also have a STEM program at the elementary school for grades four through six where the kids are doing 3D printing, uh, they're working with laser engravers, uh, they're coding, uh, working with drones. Uh, it's amazing what the boys and girls, how technology advanced they are now, even at the elementary school. Yeah. One of the interesting things to me has always been the dynamic for an elementary school student as opposed to somebody working in the high school environment because the high school kids move around a lot more through the, uh, through the course of their, of their typical day. Kirk Atwood at the high school uh, that that transition period where they're moving about the school, they're going from this classroom down the hall, down another hallway, and into another build, another room. Um, talk about that in terms of dealing with pandemic and distancing and and all of the different things that students must do now, as opposed to in any other year. Yeah, we we looked at some different options as far as trying to keep students in the same classrooms and having teachers rotate. And I know the elementary is able to do stuff like that. Uh, like you said, the high school is a very different beast. Um, we can't have our, our kids stay still because when they go to a math class, there's, you know, maybe four different math classes they go to after whatever period. Mm -hmm. um, so they are rotating uh, to their classes as normal. Um, they've done a very good job. Again, that you know, we just keep keep on them about, you know, maintaining distance, and, and they're always masked in the hallways. We haven't had any issues with that. Um, so we're really kind of normal in that regard. We just have the staff constantly reminding our students, you know, keep your distance and, and do the things you need to do. And, um, again, it's going well. Extracurriculars are another beast to deal with, uh, not only from the athletic standpoint, but from, from other activities that are away from the academic setting. How has that gone? It's been a challenge for sure, but you know, we're, we're committed to providing our, student, our students every opportunity we always have. Um, you know, our, our band is, is we have a great music program at United. Our band and chorus are, are active. You know, they've, we've seen some studies about what we need to do to keep those students safe, and we're adhering to that. Um, you know, athletics is another thing. I, I know before we came on here, I heard uh, you were talking about purchase lines, uh, senior night, and and that. And that. actually, we're away this week for football, but next week is our a home game, and that's when we're doing a very similar thing to what it sounded like you were saying purchase lines doing. We're going to recognize all of our senior uh, fall uh, sport and activity participants at five o'clock before the game. We'll have to push back our start time to seven thirty again, uh, just like they're doing. Uh, but then we're also doing our homecoming crowning. Uh, oh. that, that also we'll have most of our seniors and that, that's another thing about United when we talk about community uh, our students are involved in the life of our school and so we're actually going to have most of our senior class there just because they participate hmm. uh, and they're all going to get two tickets to bring their, their parents with them so um, we're still going to have a pretty good crowd for you know staying within the numbers we have to uh, but we're going to have a pretty nice crowd for our homecoming queen and actually this year we're doing a homecoming king we normally do that a little differently but just the time we're living in we decided to do that all uh, at the same time as well. So we're going to have a homecoming queen and king at United this year, which will be a little different for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's interesting to me uh, from both the high school and the elementary level, um, and you mentioned about how involved the kids are in the community. The community is just involved in, as the kids, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And, and one of the things we've done to make sure we keep that, you know, we are limited uh, as far as the number of participants we can have at things, but we were actually a little bit ahead of the curve um, we got a system in place last year. It's the NFHS, the National Federation, Federation of High School Sports, uh, and, and they actually have a, a camera system, and we have that in both our gym and our football field. Um, there's a subscription fee for, for athletic events. I think it's about $10 a month that um, people are able to watch those games live streamed. Um, the, the pictures are great. I was actually watching the live stream from our football field last Friday, which was kind of weird to have the game going on live, but watching it on a camera or on a t cell phone at the same time. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we, we provided that because we still want our community involved. Our community is the lifeblood of United. We recognize that. Um, and we want to do everything we can to keep them involved, even though it might look a little different this year. Yeah, Pixelot system is amazing, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, <laughs> it's truly great. And the other great thing about it is we're, we're able to do um, non-athletic events or, or stream for free. So all someone has to do is set up an account. So the senior day and homecoming, because it's not actually part of the athletic event, we're able to broadcast that for free on the NFHS network. So. Um, while each student only gets a couple of tickets, if grandparents, aunts, uncles, and really anywhere in the country um, can watch that senior day and kickoff event. So it's actually 
bringing more people into the fold in some ways. Well, this year has indeed been different. Uh, there will be things that come up that you'll have to deal with as school leaders, uh, and both at the high school and the elementary level, you've, you've got a great staff there at United and uh, good leadership from the school board. Uh, so challenges will be there, but you're going to step up and meet them as best as you can and with the best possible solution. Yep, and that's what we always do, whether there's COVID here or not. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us today. Kirk Atwood, Lou Kinja, uh, United is rolling along. We'll talk with you again next month. If you need to come back on with any sort of community advisories, you let me know. We'll get you back on, okay? Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Right. Have a great day.